What's up, you guys? Adam Piccolotti here, black belt under Raul Castillo, PFL fighter. Um, here to show you guys a couple things uh, that I find super effective. A lot of times in MMA or Jiu Jitsu, we can get stuck on the bottom. Um, I find that using my inside hooks are a great way to not only uh, create sweeps, but also to create scrambles in which I'm going to win the scramble situation. So I wanted to show you guys uh, one of my favorites right now. So I'm going to start off already in the butterfly guard. I could get to this position from a, from a beat half guard or even from a bad side control just by sneaking that far inside hook inside. But we're just going to start here for drill purposes. Okay, my opponent has their underhook, uh, which is typically not so great, but it's okay for my inside hook series here. So I'm going to control a wizard on this side. And important is I'm going to create a sweep attempt. I know I'm not necessarily going to uh, complete the full sweep, um, but what I want is I want to get his head low and his butt high. So important thing for that is when I create the sweep, I need to take out this far post, at least to a certain extent. So ideally it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna create the far, uh, I'm gonna kill the far post. And as I go to sweep, Tim's not gonna have any more arms to help base out. So he's gonna use his forehead on the mat. Also, when I try to sweep, he's not gonna allow his hips to turn to the side and for me to come up. He's gonna try to stay with his knees facing the ground, right? So he's gonna create almost a hopping motion to this direction as I go in and create the sweep, boom. This is all I needed. With this motion, I'm gonna use like almost like a final kick of that inside hook in the moment, right? In order to help me, I'm gonna create that kick and I'm gonna take my legs out. As I take my legs out in this moment before anything happens, I need to not reach with my hand, but I'm gonna cover the back of his head with my armpit and I'm already gonna put the blade of my wrist right under his neck. With the grip, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna meet my palm to palm to make the pretzel grip. In the same motion, I'm running to this outside, throwing my knee inside, and looking to finish the guillotine right here. If he rolls, I'll continue to stay on top with him as well and finish a mounted guillotine. Most likely, it's gonna end with me grabbing an arm and guillotine a little bit off to the side. Again, this is for you know position first, so if I can create this guillotine position and he manages to fight that hand free and I end up on top, we're still happy, we're still successful. So a little bit more real time, it's gonna look like this. Again, it's that hook guard. I got my wizard covering. I'm gonna make sure I'm scooting my butt to the side, take this far post, really give him a good flick to create this sweep. This is gonna give me time to jump on the neck and jump inside right away, looking to finish right here.